Hello, I'm Charles Gross. And I'm Leslie Hoban Blake, and this is First Impressions. We're standing in front of the massive sign for the Acorn and Kirk and Lion and all of these theaters here on Theater Row, where we just came from seeing Three Wise Guys with the Tack Company. Now, this is a play based on the stories of Damien Runyon. Damien Runyon, excuse me. I stand corrected. You probably know him for a show called Guys and Dolls, but that is not all he wrote. In fact, he wrote plenty more, and we saw plenty tonight, and we liked it very much. It was nicely, nicely done. I waited all evening to do that. Um, and I must say that it really was nicely done. There's a, it's a small cast, a lot of doubling. I don't know any of the actors' names. We'll do that on the show when we do our full uh, review. But I have to say that the set was divine. A little tiny theater space, and they made it into the rooms and roads and Broadway and everything you could think of. But at no time did the set overwhelm the play itself. No, it moved and everything forward beautifully. Right. Very nice a blocking, good direction, Good use of lighting, slides, and effects, which enhanced the play, did not overwhelm it, and did not seem like cheating. Wise Guys is about, well, three wise guys who would have been very much at home in Guys and Dolls and probably ran into Nathan Detroit and the rest, who suddenly find themselves on Christmas Eve on the run from a very upset businessman. A businessman in quotation marks. He's a, he's a bootlegger, <laughs> but he wears a nice suit, you know? With a gun, and one of the three has been dating his doll or the doll he would like to make his doll. Enough of the story. We don't really need to tell any more than that. They're going to throw us out of here if we don't get finished. Um, and, and the point of, of this is that we will do this, and we liked the show. And, Extremely. And we will talk more about it in depth. Funny, well done, highly recommended, and we will talk more in depth on a future. Two on the aisle. And this has been First Impressions.